We are very keen as South Africa to uh, begin to develop a cohort of good science teachers in our schools. All of you who are present here, particularly those of you who are South Africans, are fully alert to the challenges we confront in science, mathematics, and technology within our school system. You know we are not producing the numbers. You know we're not producing the quality. And what we have to attend to is the caliber and capability of the teachers that we have in our schools. Recently, uh, we've been receiving reports about the outcome of the latest annual national assessments of children at primary school. We've begun, due to reports about poor literacy and numeracy levels, to carry out annual assessments of children in the early phases of learning at primary school, in the middle phases, as well as the higher uh, secondary level. These annual assessments are assisting us in understanding what needs to be done in order to address the inadequacies with respect to quality, content, and competence among uh, children uh, in our schools. The reports that we get are suggesting to us that our children are performing very poorly, but they also indicate that many of our teachers are finding it very difficult to adequately grasp the content that we require them to teach in these very difficult gateway subject domains. So it is imperative that we resolve this problem because we have to have increased success in maths and science in order for South Africa uh, to have the pool of knowledge workers that we consistently talk about, the young people that will enter the STEM disciplines and ensure that we get those future researchers, those future engineers, those future technologists. As the Department of Science and Technology, we do play our part through our Youth Into Science program. And the Institute is playing a very important part by running the Physics Teacher Development Project, which you were told to by the President a few moments ago. And I'm told that this project is building great success among our teacher corps. I would like to encourage the uh, physics uh, department and the institute to consider expanding the project to many more provinces, that we move beyond Gauteng, because it's an advantaged province anyway, and look at other provinces and how we could provide support to them and bring more and more young people into these important disciplines. I am particularly impressed by the Institute's efforts to nurture talent through planned workshops and winter schools at this conference. The Astroparticle Physics Winter School will, I believe, improve knowledge required by young people for the SKA and Meerkat projects. The Square Kilometer Array, as well as the Meerkat, are the biggest scientific undertakings we have committed to as South Africa. And they're going to play an important role in advancing our scientific achievement as a country. So I'm really pleased to see our various science associations weaving in attention to the square kilometer array in the work that they're doing to ensure that there is understanding among young graduates about what we're trying to do in building the radio telescope, as well as ensuring that our society uh, doesn't uh, object to the massive investment we are having to make in this important radio telescope. So I'm very glad that you are supporting us with respect to the SKA projects. I'm also uh, very, very glad to see the work that's being done in the Magnetism uh, Winter School in support of our national nanotechnology strategy.